Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to look at how to really quickly import uh, releases, albums from music, uh, sorry, iTunes, Deezer, Spotify into Music Brands. Um, so here I've got this artist 136 or 136 Young Boss, and I've got this album here, Kanzen Chuaku. Sorry about the pronunciation that I want to import. So for this, what we could do is we could go to uh, musicbrains.org uh, and we go editing, add release. Uh, and you can find another video on how to do it manually. It can be good to go through doing it manually, so just so you know the ins and outs. But we've actually, uh, we're gonna use an external tool to just make a little bit quicker and uh, pre precede the track names and track times and so on. So for this we're going to be using a tool called atiscuit.pulsewith.something but I can't remember uh, the URL so and this is uh, good for you to do as well just search music brains um, external tools or resources. Ah here we go. So we've got external resources music brains and this is a wiki page and this just collects some useful external tools and here we go. Uh, external sites, atiscuit.pulsewith.org.uk, imports releases from a Deezer, Spotify, iTunes, album URL, etc. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to take us to this page. So this is Atiscuit. And now we're going to start with a Spotify uh, album URL. So we've got to make sure that the URL up here has album in it. Uh, make sure you're not in a single or anything like that with the artist page. Once you're on the album page, we can uh, copy that and then go back to Tisket and we can paste it in. We can also uh, search by the ID or the uh, UPC by the barcode here, but this is the easiest way. Paste in the whole thing and then click Get ID. Now it's automatically extract the Spotify album ID. Now we're going to ignore the rest of this for now. It's more uh, for advanced stuff, so we're going to hit search. It's just going to run a search, check the other vendors. Perfect. So uh, it's found this on Deezer and on iTunes as well, which is great. Uh, so we're just going to check that it is the same release on these other vendors. Uh, and here we go. You can see here it's highlighted some differences in how this is named between Spotify, Deezer, and iTunes. Um, and it uses Japanese uh, kanji on a few tracks and English uh, on others. So again, that's Deezer's using the kanji, Spotify and iTunes are using Latin. So we'll just pick one, we'll say consistent. I'm going to just use Latin script or English for all of these. Uh, and the rest all looks good to me as well. So now there's one more important step here which is that we've got uh, 205 countries matched, all these countries. It's going to add a crazy long list of all these countries. It's just not that helpful. Um, I'm going to set it to worldwide uh, because unless a whole bunch of countries have been excluded and this release is just for, uh, let's say, Asia, so it's just like uh, 20 countries or something like that, then maybe I would leave it. 205 countries, it's pretty much all of them. And I click here, set the release to only Great Britain. Now we're going to come back to that in a little bit. Now edit note and annotation, we can actually worry about that later. We can uh, we can click here to include the copyright notice or the countries where they're available. Um, copyright notice can be useful. Um, so we're just going to leave that in. And then we're going to uh, click submit album to music brand. Now. I'm already logged in, so that's something you don't have to be logged in before doing that step. But here we can see this is what's called seeding. So it's pre filled uh, the title, the artist, uh, album, date, label, and so on, um, and the external links. This is all filled by Atiscuit. Uh, and here we have all the tracks and so forth. Uh, we still need to fill in some stuff manually, or rather, match some stuff manually. So we've got the artist here, 136. Do the search, here we go. Um, so we're just going to check that we've got the right one. Uh, if, if your artist isn't here, look up how to add an artist, the video, but in this case, this is him. 
um, and it's an album. And here, this is where we come back to what we did before. We set it to United Kingdom. Let's remember to change this to worldwide. 205 countries to me, close enough. And then uh, the label, okay, it's not there. You could leave this blank. Um, and actually I will, because we're gonna cover how to add a label in another video. So you can search that video instead. But because I haven't added it yet, I'm just going to leave it blank. We've already got the barcode. That all looks correct. Now here we can see, okay, we're sticking with Latin, which is great because that's what we've uh, got here for the script. So Latin script is uh, A, B, C, D, and so on. And it's also automatically matched the artist 136, um, but not some of these other ones. So got a I bell. I don't know how to pronounce that. Biscuit has been matched, which is great. We'll just double check that. So I've just opened uh, Biscuit at the top here. Oh yeah, a feature on another 136 album. So that's definitely them. Let's match this. Just ticking the little uh, search icon. Here we go. So for this, I am going to have to add a new artist. Um, so let's, I'll try to do this quickly. Let's just open up uh, their page here. Just see. I'm just going to add this as a link. Can do a quick search. Put an Instagram as well. Just adding some sources. Um, Japan. Okay. Japan MC. All right. So we're going to do. Uh, Japanese rapper person, uh, add area Japan, add these uh, external links, so that's the Spotify and the Instagram, um, and that's pretty self-explanatory, we've already added the external links, but I will uh, add a link in the edit note so that people know where I got the information from. Um, okay, so we're going to have to just fill out these fields. Again, we've got these other ones. We're just going to click edit on the side here at 136. 136, who's uh, Y Dizzy? Okay, we've got Y Dizzy. I'm just going to quickly check that this is the correct Y Dizzy. Um, Overkill is from Japan. Yes, they are. And they're around the same year, um, you know, 20s, uh, 2020, so on. I think that's some. Um, um, confident that that's the same artist. All right, we'll just check this. Um, often you might want to hit guess case, but this looks like it's uh, all uppercase on purpose. So we're just going to leave that. Um, guess case there. Okay, great. Um, check if there's any existing recordings, uh, but I know that this is not any compilations and so forth. So I can just keep, I can just carry on to the edit note. Now here it's going to be uh, pre-filled with the information from a tisket. And I can't really improve on this because these links here, these album links are really, uh, that's, a, that's the concrete source. So I'm going to hit enter edit. Now it's going to enter this release. Let's give it a second. Elevator music plays. Perfect. And now Etisket has this great uh, little extra where it pops up complimentary links. I just close these other tabs because I'm like that. <laughs> Got to be tidy. Uh, so here we go. We can upload the cover and it conveniently gives us iTunes is usually the biggest. So I can just click this button here. Um, so I can download this cover, save image as, uh, to the desktop. And then here we can submit ISRCs. So that's a, um, a what, if you've logged in, you can just press one button to submit those. That's a um, music or recording identification ID, ISRCs. Uh, and we can also add relationships. So this is another really useful thing here. We can click here. And it's going to automatically uh, add the links so that already exists, but uh, we could have added the Spotify relationship 
if it didn't already exist. Let's see if uh, I can't remember which one I clicked. Um, okay, that one already exists. Okay, so uh, why Dizzy doesn't have it yet? We'll just check to make sure it's the correct artist. Uh, yep, again, that looks like the Japanese wrapper that is featured there. I hit enter edit, just uh, do that as well. So here we go. I'm going to click on upload cover to music brains. I'm just going to add that uh, that image that it conveniently gave us to add to the desktop. Um, and I'll just uh, I'll make as a note here, I'll put, uh, actually to make it even easier, I could just put a uh, cover from my tunes. But actually more useful is if I just copy link address to where it actually came from. I'll just paste that in. People can check it themselves and enter edit. Okay, the uh, the cover art archive is being slightly slow today. Um, and now if we click on here on this release, we can see that it's been entered um, just a few minutes of work. Uh, and just make sure you're double checking what you enter. Um, but yeah, so if you remember, if you can remember, uh, search for music brains, external resources, and then what you want is a tisket.